Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. In order to celebrate 1 million subscribers that I reached just a few weeks ago, I promised to build a bowling ball launcher for a bowling ball just like this here. <laughs> and um, I'm doing progress. I've actually posted a lot of pictures and uh, even a small video on Facebook. But here is the presentation of the first 1 to 10 scale model. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a 1 inch 25 millimeter steel ball to simulate the 10 times larger bowling ball and build a contraption that could be the final design. So let me show you what I came up with. <laughs> Meet the 1 to 10 scale bowling ball launcher model. <laughs> let me show you its features. This model is just about 75 centimeters long. This means that the final launcher will be seven and a half meters long. I put a picture of myself done by a fan as a great piece of fan art uh, on here to show you the size. So it's going to be that huge. It's made from square uh, wooden rods and the final one of course will also be made from uh, wooden beams. So I had to make a construction that works for that. As you see, the quote-unquote fork is a solid construction. Uh, we're using the clamp-on method to attach the rubber. Of course, that will be a lot more rubber on the final weapon. Um, and um, it also will stop the rubber. So to avoid return to sender shots like the watermelon woman failure. The bowling ball will be accelerated down this ramp like this and um, the only thing that of course isn't real is the uh, trigger solution here because in the final weapon that will be a winch and rope release it's the least of my problems that design is already finished one problem is of course that this thing will be very heavy so it will have to sit flush on the ground this means that it will probably not fly very far of course we could hoist the entire thing up but let's not forget the scale of things just for this angle, I would have to hoist it up like three meters. And uh, I'm on my own and uh, I've, I'm not really an expert in building roller coasters. So the idea is to have a little ramp, like a hockey stick ramp, that turns the shot upwards so the ball is flying higher. A ramp has the advantage that the acceleration is fairly quick because it doesn't have to climb uphill. But then it has the disadvantage that there will be some energy loss because of the impact of the ball onto the ramp. So it is quite unclear what the ideal angle would be for a ramp like that. Therefore, let's experiment. So I built three different ramps. One in 15 degrees, one in 15 degrees initially, but then 30 degrees, and one in 15, 30, and then 45. So this one will launch it high up and this one rather flat. Well, we'll find out which one throws the ball the farthest. All right, we will start with no ramp at all. And fire. As you see, it pretty much rolled away. This means that it wasn't really a throw. Now we have attached a 15 degree ramp. The ball will come rolling down this and then jump off the ramp like this only with more speed. As you see, the ball is snugly in the pouch and ready for the shot. Wow, <laughs> it worked. 15 degree ramp, about 21 meters distance. Okay, now we have the 30 degree ramp, a much more steep angle. I think that was more far. Okay, 30 degree angle ramp. 27 meters. Now the 45 degree angle. Okay, and go. Oh, that was unfair, it hit the tree. <laughs> it touched the tree a little bit, but it only went about 25 meters far. So it seems to me that there is no additional effect when you exceed a 30 degree angle. All right, realistically, this is about as high as we can hoist it up in real life. This means about two meters. And as you see, the angle is quite low. 
Let's see how it fares against the ramp. Okay, and go. It flew about 30 meters far, and the angle is a little lower than the 15 degree ramp, which had 22 meters. So yes, it is better to hoist it up versus using a ramp, but it's not that much better. So I haven't decided, should we use a ramp with a 30 degree angle or should we hoist the thing up a little bit as far as we can? What do you think? Let me know down there in the comments. Okay, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye.